Okay, check it out. Um, messing with six string basses today and baritone guitars. So here, I put this galaxy together for a customer um, with a baritone neck. This is like an aftermarket baritone neck here. Take the tuner off. Um, you know, it's made to fit a Stratocaster, but it fits on the Galaxy nicely. And um, there's a little bit of art alteration. I don't remember exactly. Well, no, I think it fit pretty good. Um, little alteration to the body, though. The bridge had to be moved back. And to hide the old holes, I just kind of made this interesting plastic piece on either side. And then we made a white pick guard for it, wired it up, and it really sounds cool, you know. So I got a set of flat wound bass strings and added two more flat wound guitar strings. And we got a, you know, an octave bass guitar here. <laughs> guitar that's basically what this is an octave down and you know you got a lot of same old pickup combinations that you get on a galaxy here you know bridge well, that's actually the five three so here's the bridge by itself all right neck how about neck with some tone rolled off yeah you can play it like a bass too how about all four? That gives you that. surfy rather than the modern six string bass right all right so let's go over to this Dan electric here that's going to be a um, baritone guitar tuned to a this was tuned to e now those uh i can make for about sixteen hundred dollars with a uh, aftermarket neck a real nice aftermarket neck you know do whatever pick guard you want and uh comes out pretty good this one here is a you know pretty inexpensive baritone instrument uh, we have it up for sale for four hundred dollars um, you know, two lipstick, two pickups, wired in series, like all the Dan Electros. Um, I mentioned before that these were hum canceling, but they're not. They're actually just going to buzz in any position. So I used to do a mod. I haven't done it in a while, but you can take one of these pickups apart and you can take the coil and flip it upside down and put, put it back together. It's really hard to get these covers apart, though. In the beginning, it was easy to get them apart, but lately I, I've been fighting with them so much. And I haven't done the mod in a while, and I've ruined one doing it too because the wires are so tight in there. But I mean, they're replaceable, they're not expensive. And they make a replacement uh, reverse wound pickup from WD too, so you can just like buy the other pickup. But now the question is, which one do you have in your guitar? Do you have the reverse or do you have the regular one? What are you buying, right? <laughs> so yeah, you might have to do a little bit of experimentation. If you get the wrong one, you gotta send it back and get the other one to get the reverse wound that matches the other pickup. Or just buy the set. By the reverse one and the regular one out and take these two out. Many options. All right, here we go. So now we're just tuned down to A, not not E. And you could probably put bass strings on this because it's the same scale. These are about 27 and a half scale. A strat is about 25 and a half, you know, so you've added a couple more frets on. <laughs> pickup setting here and it gets a little more it gets louder but it also gets more mid-range <laughs> Too, 400 bucks. I mean, they go from 
for more than that, but we're just offering a good deal on this guy here. Tone. Now I'm also roll it off. Uh, this is probably a better bridge than the original because it's easier to string. This this strings go through the hole rather than like, holding on in midair. <laughs> it seems like they're defying gravity. And you can adjust the uh, intonation. These are a little chintzy, but if you're careful, you can get it adjusted nicely. Um, you can bend those out of shape really easily if you're not careful, but do it right, they work. Um, one, two, three, four, five bolts. And look, this is actually, this is the best part about this guitar. Neck adjustment on the headstock, not the bottom. So if you, you know, most of the Ben Electra's, the neck adjustment is hidden under here and you gotta take the neck off and then you're taking five bolts off each time you do it. You gotta do it like three times in a row. That's the worst thing about the reissues. And the originals had not adjustable truss rods and they usually stayed straight. Um, but the reissue makes you take the neck off to adjust it. But no, this one doesn't, this is at the headstock. So life just got very easy with this one. And uh, Klusen style tuners, which is nice. Yeah, so not a bad reissue on this one. Uh, just not hum canceling, but you know, there's things you can do to fix that. There you go, 400 bucks, that guy there. And the 1600 range to have a custom one made and they come out great. There you go, thanks.